Hey everyone. Howdy. Welcome to Beer Explain for uh, the probably the last ish show of uh, 2020, the year that Beer Explaining was founded because what else is there to do but drink during quarantine? You know, and talk do one on New Year's Eve? I was going to say, we probably will do something New Year's Eve ish. Okay, that's don't probably know if it'll be true. live, but you know. We'll probably go live. Who doesn't want to watch us get drunk on New Year's? I don't know. Maybe it's not the last show. Whatever. Welcome to Beer Explaining. The As you can Sunday see, show. we're super trying to streamline this down and cut out all the extra talking today. <laughs> super good. Super, we're doing great. We're doing great. Uh, I'm Hoppy Hippo. Beer Snob Esquire. You can find us on Instagram. You can. Uh, so today we're doing a tasting test. of uh, Not a tasting test. Sorry. We're doing a vertical tasting today. Yes. A vertical tasting of Drake's Barley Wine uh, called Santa's Brass. Shout out to Father Flan 25 for picking it up for us. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy yours too. Um, it is basically from 2017 through 2020 of their barrel aged barley wines. We're going to be so fucked up. It's going to be messy. Uh, barley wines are by their nature very high alcohol beers. These range between 14 and a half and 15% uh, alcohol, which is a fairly common uh, range, usually between 12 and 15% for your barley wines. Um, barley wines are just big body, full, aromatic. You know, it's it's kind of like drinking a wine or a port. It's going to have a lot of flavors, a lot of complexities to it. Most of these have been aged in bourbon and or port barrels, so should add some complexities there as well. But um, I'm not typically a big barley wine guy, so I'm a little concerned we're going to waste a bit of this beer. <laughs> well, probably. I guess we'll find out, right? There's uh, only one way to find out. We do have a special guest today. You're going to hear her as the disembodied voice also telling us what they think of this barley wine, and that's going to be Callie Beer Girl. You don't get to see her today? No. No, no. But you can hear her. She's going to be a voice coming from the background. Like an angel. Yeah, like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, should we go reverse order in, in 20 to 17 or go age order 17 to 20? I kind of want to go 20 to 17. I agree, because you can try to get some See of the, the differences in flavors. Is it the, yep. same, so is it the same recipe each year? I don't believe that it is the right. same recipe. Um, like I said, this one here was 14.5% alcohol, while this one was over 15. So there is some differences in at least the grain bill or the original bill, unless there was a lot of loss um, there are definitely this in is, the bottles. Okay, so yeah, so this is um, 2020, and this is aged in Heaven Hill bourbon barrels. Right. And then 2019 over here was aged in whiskey and port barrels. The 2018 was aged in whiskey and port barrels as well. And then 2017 says it was aged in bourbon and port barrels. So this is the only non-port version. That's interesting. Um, it says, whether you've been naughty or nice, you better watch out. Santa's Brass is coming to town. This tasty barley wine ale has been aged in bourbon barrels, adding some oak notes that blend perfectly with the sweet vanilla and dark fruit notes of the beer. Um, I think it's an interesting color. I like the silver. Uh, I really like, like this a, bottle. Man. Like a ribbon wrapped instead of coal, I think, right? I think it's what it is. Yeah. yeah. So it's cute. Um, let's try it. Let's try it. We'll start with then the 2020. Uh, let's move all the beers up. Move all the glasses up right here so you can. Let's see if I can not take my finger off. Oh my God. No, don't, don't let her near a knife. Are no, you kidding? You, you want me to do it? Oh, you're doing it wrong. Sorry. Don't cut yourself again. It this wasn't is me, it was her. This body voice on screen again. She's already dropped some shit on herself today. No, that was yesterday. She dropped uh, some foil on her foot. No, that was the day before. Oh, she sliced her finger. Yeah, she sliced I finger. saw that. I yeah. saw that jump a second ago there. That's a lot of wax. No, it just moved. Wax does make a problem now. All right, all right. This is what you guys are here for the hard nosed uh, show of us just watching someone peel wax off a bottle. You guys are missing out. It's very erotic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Cali Beer Girl might not agree with you there, but it's possible. It's possible. This might be easier to get off. You want to go ahead and start on that one? Yeah, we're starting on this one. It might be easier to get off. That should be a good question. Wait, wait, maybe there. There we go. All right. Look, we did it. We are capable of opening a bottle of beer. So. It's fucking Ooh. fragrant. <laughs> yeah, you can smell it from there. We'll do, we'll do small pours. Yeah, yeah, you might want to call someone else over to see if they just want to have some. Glass put them all front so you can pour them towards the front so people can see the pour. Oh, there we go. Look at it. You can see it looks a lot like... Color. That's good, that's good, that's good. Like, like crazy. Like caramel color? Yeah, four ounce pours. This is good. It's got a thing that says four ounces. Apparently five ounce pours, but whatever. Well, I mean, there's some left in the bottle. So Look at this. What are we going to do? Well, we're... Probably you're gonna drink it all and be super slammed later. Hopefully it walks. Well, yeah, because I only have to get up and go to work tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna walk. I have to go to work tomorrow too. 
I'm gonna have to get up though to go. Ooh. All right, let's, let's try Ooh. this action. Ooh, smell, smell. You it smell. You definitely get the bourbon. It smells like bourbon barrels. You did, but you also get some of the port, right? No, there's no port on this. This one had port barrels in it. Oh, the 2020. No, you're right. It had two different bourbon barrels. No, it just has Heaven Hills bourbon barrels. I think it's a particular type of bourbon. Oh, that's right. This is the Heaven Hills. It is. Uh, this just smells like alcohol. Like it smells like a wine, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a barley wine. So. It is a barley wine. Um, I'll be honest, I don't actually know what a barley wine is. It's really just, it, it, it's a, a big, like I said, big, full-bodied, high-alcohol beer. Um, in some states, it actually is anything over 12%. But they're typically okay. caramel flavors, um, malty, but the alcohol character is what? Significant. So they're like triple IPAs without an IPA grain bill? Uh, I would say more like a triple brown or, or a double stout. You know, because again, it's more of a caramel. Smells like wine, but not made with grapes, or else it would be a wine. That's correct. So this is made just like regular beer with um, grain, mm -hmm. oats, yeast. Well, I guess yeast is in wine, too. Mm. No, yeast is in wine. That's how yeah, you it. Yeast is in You need yeast to ferment. Just a okay, no matter what. In order to get your alcohol, you need a yeast. different yeast, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's good. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try mine, apparently. I, I think that's good. I'm just too busy smelling it. I'm just like... <laughs> He's debating. Brandy snitch. I think it's really good. Oh, it is really good. How am I going to drink four of these? God, I don't even know if I'm going to drink four ounces of this. It's, there's a it's, burn. There's a, there's a little there's bit a, of an alcohol burn. There's a burn right through but your you nose. You definitely get the caramel notes. A little bit. You definitely get the caramel notes. You definitely get the, the oh, bourbon. This embodied Cali beer girl does not look impressed. Hold uh, on. It's hold good. on. I'm going to act out her response. It's good. <laughs> Pretty much it. Spot on. Spot on. Paul, well, talks about how good it was. It's good. It's not. A, it's not a favorite of mine. <laughs> no, it's not a style that. Well, it's also not a style you drink. You know, a ton of. You normally have. You this know, is a, a sipping a, a sip, drink. It absolutely. This is. is a, how are we gonna drink four of these? Maybe we should just drink one of these. <clears throat> hey, you know what? And then do like one per show for like the next couple of shows. We can definitely do that. Because then we'll actually finish that, the bottle. That's true. And 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 like you say, and then and also be able to function. Yeah, yeah. Because this uh, is... Uh, we got... Uh, my Belching Beaver. We basically drink three right. bottles yeah, of wine. Uh, we've got Belching Beaver. I've got those Crowlers I got from Imperial we can, we can drink. Yeah. We can just share one of those and talk about it if we want to. That gives us two beers, a nice sort of tight show. We should definitely write down some notes, though, for comparison. That's the problem, is you're not going to remember what this tastes like. When right, right. So if we write down the notes for comparison. Okay, there's a uh, post-it note right there, like a big post-it note thing. Post-it note thing, yeah. Man, so I do. I get. I get. I. I yeah, would we can't, say we can't drink very alcohol. caramelly. Well, you get the twenty. Well, you get the alcohol. So scratch that, guys. We said we're doing a vertical. Only. We're not. We're not doing a vertical today. Yeah, we've decided our livers are probably going to drink one spare. glass of barley wine. Talk about it. Then we're going to drink an IPA. Talk about that. Then we're going to drink a sour and talk about that. Show. Balanced in alcohol. I think. I don't think. I don't think the alcohol is overpowering. A lot of times, a barley wine you get. Either. A I don't either. Big burn. Uh, Fourteen you know percent I mean? is usually like it's very, very heavy. Like I'm just I like, agree. oh. But this is balanced nicely. It just tastes kind. Of, it tastes like a port almost. Like I think it's very smooth. Like I think it reminds me of like a port, like to some extent. I think it's. I, and that's I. That, I think that's a that's an apt comparison. Is is a port? It's good. It's good. Um, if you're into barley wines, I wouldn't. I could see you and a couple friends drinking this. A sixteen ounce bottle, right? Yes. So you probably need like. I mean, maybe someone can drink an ounce of this, but you on on himself. No, it's actually this one's a twelve ounce. Can anyone drink? Well, can people drink full twelve ounces of this all by themselves? I mean, that's it. You could. That's like it's really, it's really just a glass and a half of wine. I guess. If you think about it in those terms. I guess. I guess. So most, so any woman could. Was that not how it works? I, wow. It's a good thing Kelly Beer Girl wasn't here because something might have been thrown at you. The only thing that's no, visible up. is a knife. Shut up, Cal <laughs> Beer Girl. Here's Kelly Beer Girl's stance on life and wine. All right. I only open a bottle if I can finish it. Right. Not. Finish it tomorrow. Like, finish it. I open a bottle of an IPA to drink that bottle of IPA. I open a bottle of wine to drink that bottle of wine. Which is what you do. So I'm, I'm in agreement with. Kelly. I'm just saying, if it's like putting like a bottle and half a wine, then it's a girl thing. I, I don't think it's necessarily a girl thing, but I get you. I don't know any guys who drink bottles and halves of wines on their own. I would drink a bottle of wine. If I open a bottle of wine, I drink the full bottle of wine. I just don't drink much wine anymore. I used to. I used to drink a lot of wine. I'm not saying either one of us is incapable of doing it. I'm just saying we don't do it. <laughs> I'm capable. I sure I can drink a bottle and a half of wine. Goodness. I don't even like wine, but I'm pretty sure I can drink one. Just saying, like, I don't. It's not a thing I do. 
But yeah. girls I know do. I really like this beer. Like I said, I don't know that I could finish the full bottle by myself. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, we we, we absolutely have to like, yeah, this has to be split up. There's just no way. And there's just no other way to do this, I think. Here we go. Yeah, there's just no way. It's very good. There's no way to do this without splitting it, though. I agree. I think Thank you. Um, it's just too heavy. We also have the Belting Beavers over there, if we want to try one of those. Um, they actually Is also have barley wine. Callie going to get beer? Or? I don't know where she went. She just ran away on me. I don't know. Did you go get beer nails? Huh? Did you go get beer for us? Uh, I'm getting the sour. Oh, oh, the sour of the day. Oh, the, imper the IPA is in the fridge. in the tea right here. The Imperial. 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 So that's what I'm getting. Just... Yeah, just get one of those. I probably. would do that. Why are you telling me? No, him. Oh, wait, it's over here, right? Hi guys, so let's talk about 2020 this year. What a year, huh? It's uh, it's a year. We yeah, didn't do a lot of things. But, you know, the other day, me and uh, Callie Beer and Hoppy over here and uh, Producer D were all kind of driving together or sitting together. We were doing something and the four of us were together. And we were talking about all the bomb ass things that we planned. Oh, also our friends, uh, Son and Alex. We were talking about all the great things we had planned for 2020 that we didn't fucking do. It was awesome and sad. So, uh, yeah, so it turns out we missed out, we, um, myself, Callie Girl, our daughter, we missed out on, um, like, seven musicals, maybe eight. Um, we missed out on a trip probably to either Hawaii or Alaska. Um, we mm -hmm. definitely missed out on a trip to Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, and we missed out on uh, Callie going to, two, or, or to um, not Callie, yeah, Callie going to <laughs> two years of, uh, two months, two weeks. weeks, two weeks of camp or summer camp, um, sleepaway camp. Mm -hmm. uh, those were all things we missed that we absolutely would have done. Okay, well, the Hawaii thing. It was, that was, either, like, it was either like a Hawaii <laughs> trip or like an Alaska cruise. Like we were doing one of those two things this year. Um, everything else was absolutely legitimately we were going to do it. We paid for it. We and we were going to do it. Um, and yeah, we unfortunately didn't do any of that. So I'm hoping a lot of that will roll over to next year. So I hope if you had plans this year that you didn't get to do, I hope they rolled over to next year for you as well. We had three graduations, one college, one high school, one eighth grade, all within yep. the week. Yep. All that didn't happen. So we'll never get those back. The good news is the kids weren't really upset about it, but we also missed a, a trip to at least Alaska or Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, true, going true. To be in true. The plans. Uh, a trip to San Diego. But we had in the plans. Yeah, we did get to plan some nice short trips. We did. In the interim. We did. We we took advantage of the slowdown. We did Morro Bay, which we definitely did Morro Bay. Otherwise. Right, which was I thought a lot of fun. We did some small day trips, but yes, I'm I'm with with uh, Copy here. Uh, here's hoping 2021 allows us to do some of the things that we wanted to do and that you didn't lose out on all of the things you want to do in 2020 and get to roll over that to 2021 because um, I think we all need it, frankly. So, so with that, I gotta, I gotta finish this. I'm not sure you slam a... No, no that was a slam. I put some water there to get the barley one out of the bottom. And but I still have that one. <laughs> because I am totally awesome. Yeah, you are totally awesome. I am totally awesome. All right, so we're going to move on here from uh, that modern leader president. I think that's IPA. They are. They're all live out of Sounds like IPA. We're going to move on to elect... Want another glass? No, I'll do the same thing. We're going to move on to Electronic Dream from Imperial Beer Project, a 6.8% um, IPA. I don't know. It's probably hazy. I'm guessing hazy. Um, Sounds hazy. It tends to be what I buy. Um, I bought this the other day. Imperial is a uh, boutique brewery located in downtown Brentwood. They used to have a bottle shop uh, over in... Antioch on Lone Tree, and they sold that to another company who um, still operates that as a nice little bottle shop slash tap room. It's actually a really nice spot to go. Um, looks like a great spot for paint night if you're into paint nights. Oh, yeah. I uh, agree with that. If you're not into paint nights and you've never tried them, honestly, they're fun. They're fun. Um, I enjoy them. So they end, up buying, artistic. they end up buying their own space or renting their own space over in downtown Brentwood, right near um, Mannheim Social Club <laughs> stuff. So Which we love. They had a bomb deal the other day, uh, the day before Christmas, and... Uh, Four crawlers for 20 bucks. And they sold out. How do I know this? He was in court. Ooh, I was in court and couldn't get my order done. But, but, Corey was able to. I picked was able to get and I didn't even go into Manhattan to there look at the box. more in there? No, we drank it. Did you want more? No, it's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We can open another one for you. No, no you don't want to open another one. She's got her triple over there. No. Remember the oh, that, yeah, I'm letting you sours. guys choose on like your the, sours. Now remember next time that she wants like more of the bottom. I got that. Yeah, yeah. Well, the the other ones are quite a bit. The next one is quite a bit bigger. So I should say I have never had um, this beer. I don't think so. It is hazy. It's yeah. Well, lighter you, want, you want to pour this too? Sure. You want me to rinse you or are you good? I don't think I. Germs. Yeah, yeah. Amber, I'm gonna give Amber the vid. 
<laughs> Sierra, what are you doing in my room? You suspect. Especially when you come out licking your chops like that, Sierra. So, All right, so uh, I don't know anything about this beer. We could look it up on their website probably and get some more information, but what's the fun of that? Let's just smell it Ooh, and taste it's it. It's more of a West Coast smell. Less of, oh, it smells great. I love the smell. Great. Yeah, yeah. Fuzzy? But, but fuzzy. I call actually, it fuzzy. I don't know. I don't know. But it's fuzzy. less citrus fruits and it's a little bit more piney, but not overly piney and earthy. Fuzzy is actually kind of a good, like, sort of like, I agree. smell to a name sort of thing here. I think that makes sense. It smells good. It smells better than it tastes to me. I agree. But the taste is fine. The taste, is, it's definitely, it's drinkable, but the flavors, the aromas that you get and the flavors you get aren't harmonious. So. And the aftertaste doesn't linger like you expect. <clears throat> it, and it definitely doesn't have the um, the lingering aftertaste of, of the hazy that you normally get. I, something that just sits on the palate for a long time. I also kind of feel like the, the, the flavor profile sort of moves on like a wave. Like it's yep. very different. Like sometimes you'll drink a beer and you just get a flavor and that flavor is that flavor and sort of roll taste. Just, I feel like this beer has three different very distinct flavors as it rolls through my through my mouth. I'd agree with that. Um, I, I, I agree with that. Especially because it just drops the, off at the you're, you're getting the first burst. It's which, a little bit of that pininess to it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that mosaic-y, like super mm -hmm. like citrusy mm -hmm. sort of flavor. This one's called Electronic Pain. Um, it's a good beer. Imperial makes pretty good beer. I, generally I agree. think it's good, but I don't like that it just drops off in the flavor. I agree. I think that's the, fair. The, like it's just gone. It yeah. should, your hazies should really sit on your palate much longer. And especially when you talk about fuzzy, cottony, it should stay with you for quite a while and that's what you're expecting in the nose and not what you're getting but still drinkable good news we can all taste it yes we can all taste it yeah so those of you wondering why we drank every single sunday for an entire year the answer is to make sure we still have our sense of taste that's correct and smell. it was a scientific we're, experiment we're doing our part that's right that is that's 100 percent correct because i swear to god every time i have a cough i'm like do i have to bend i don't know i know i always do it yeah. what's wrong Yeah, or there's a scratch your coat on there. Oh, let me see. Ruh-roh. Uh-oh. Christmas cards. Oh. They require a code. What happened? Did you scratch it like with, what'd you scratch it with? I just peeled it off. Oh. Bring us the piece that you peeled off. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Sorry, guys. So Yeah, it's scratch off. It's a scratch off. It's no, they're normal scratch offs. But anyway, okay, it's cool. Uh, your mother's gonna try to figure it out. If you peeled it off and it's still mostly one piece, we can probably figure it out. If okay. Double sided wow. tape. I would double sided tape it to something so that you have some backing to stick it to. Um, and scratch off. Okay, okay. Is it not a scratch off? Sorry guys, I know this is riveting television. It looks very metallic for a scratch off. It does. It probably is a peel off. Oh shit. The good news is you should be able to take it someplace and with the barcode. Yeah, that's definitely a peel-off. All right, this is a riveting television. Riveting television, but anyway. Screen here. Sorry, guys. Oh, she's scratching. Is it scratching? No, it's a peel. I think the code got stuck on the CD. That is what looks like what happened, yeah. Um, yeah, my guess. It is a scratch-off. Oh, it is. Is it working? Right. Yeah, okay, good. We're okay. So now, good news. Whew, the beer is All right, back to Imperial Beer Project, guys. Um, I'll tell you what, for two fifty a pint, shit is the bomb. I and that's I, I would agree with you there. <laughs> this is I, I would pay I would pay a normal pint price. Yeah, it's a beer. totally it's, pint. It's, it's a very good beer. I'm gonna drink some more of it actually yes, before we start our showers, frankly. Me too. Um, because we have to drink thirty two ounces of it, and uh, producer D, <clears> who admittedly <throat> doesn't drink, did not join us today. That's cool. Yes, they had other plans. So um. What else do we want to talk about while we finish our beers here? Does anyone have any? Is anyone watching? Does anyone have any comments? No. Anyone tell no us what they missed out on this year? No, no, no one's watching. You so, read them in the comments later. We promise to go back and read our comments. Absolutely, the... absolutely. Uh, um, there was nothing there. I hope everybody got what they were looking for for Christmas. I got what I was looking for. You know, I had a good time in Christmas. I felt good. Um, we had some friends over. Um, Shane, for example, and uh, we had a really good time. Did you? Okay. Did it work out or no? Hopefully. The dinners were good. Yeah, we had Small some barbecues. Groups. It was it nice. Was, um, it was a change from years past because normally we have about twenty to twenty-five people. We had nine. There were nine there. people at this yeah, house. Nine um, people. Yeah. All of Very which had seen each other in the past week. Like they were all part of our houses, COVID so. bubble. 
Yeah, that's like a Holy Sheen. Bubble. Sheen and Zenith are like our bubble bubble, and then like Son and Ox are kind of like our extended bubble, basically. Um, well, they, they said you can have a bubble of up to 10 to 12 people. Yeah, we which just is never really saw them. So they're 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 us, so, yeah, so they're extended because we just either But they didn't go really extended. anywhere or do anything either, so. Yeah, so. There's more left in there for you in this beer. Book. So it was good. It was a good Christmas, I think, overall. I think our daughter did well. She got some nice clothes. I think it was really fun. It was really fun. <sighs> My daughter gets a better iPhone than me. I'm not sure how that happens. You guys buy your daughter an iPhone? Yeah. Like because you're lazy and you haven't just gone and bought a new it's iPhone, that's exactly why. Right. It has $1. nothing $1. to do with that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Eight we're not like paying for it. We're, we're paying monthly pay. For it. Yeah, so you're yeah. still paying for She's it. She's going to get, they're giving her four or $500 for her eighth, which is, you know, pretty cool. And I don't think she's getting a really good one. I don't know. I don't I know, just, man. I don't do that. That's not my thing. <laughs> not my thing. All right, so uh, well, let's see. What else is there to talk about? Let's talk about 2020. Let's do our 2020 year in review, I guess, um, since we got to kill some time here. Sports sucked. The LA Dodgers won the World Series. That's just should not happen. There was a World Damn, Series. Mookie Betts. There, there was, was there Series. was a World Series. Um, and the LA Lakers won the NBA championship. So basically, my sports life went to hell. Um, you know, I don't really watch a lot of sports anymore. I did okay in fantasy. I think today will be the uh, the kicker. <laughs> Let's see, I didn't do very well in Fanduel. I did shitty in Fanduel. I did good in Fanduel. I'm doing all right. I did. I did pretty good in Fanduel. So, yeah, that's a great in fantasy. We're at. Uh, it doesn't say actually. It's it's top it's been quite a while. Oh. We should probably just kill the stream. Twenty-one out. minutes. We should just kill the stream and just let's close the stream out. And I agree. Sour on time. Okay. All right. Cool. So, so we're gonna thank close you all for joining us. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. Like, uh, like Shane said, cheers and um, happy hopefully, 2020. Hopefully, your 2020 is, was okay, and your 2020 was hopefully better. Cause fuck, dude, if it's worse, <laughs> it can't be worse. Okay. It, 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 it could be, but you know. <laughs> cheers. 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 Right. So bring me your card. <laughs>